डॉक्टर ईश्वर चंद्र वर्मा एंड करेंटली आई एम एम्प्लॉयड एज एडवाइजर एंड सीनियर कंसल्टेंट इन द इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मेडिकल जेनेटिक्स एंड जेनोमिक्स एट सर गंगा राम हॉस्पिटल द रे डिजीजेज और एक्चुअली रे आर ओनली इन द नेम बट इन फैक्ट देर आर ऑलमोस्ट सेवेंटी मिलियन पीपल विद रे डिजीजेज इन इंडिया सो लार्ज नंबर एंड मैनी ऑफ द डिजीजेज आर जेनेटिक एटी परसेंट आर कंसिडर जेनेटिक सेवेंटी परसेंट अकर इन द पीडियाटिक एज ग्रुप चिल्ड्रन बिकॉज दे हैव मोर जेनेटिक डिसऑर्डर एंड अबाउट फिफ्टी परसेंट दे आर डिसेबलिंग दे विल लीड टू डिसेबिलिटीज एंड थर्टी टू फोर्टी परसेंट आर लाइफ टेकिंग यू नो दे विल डेंजर टू लाइफ दे कैन द पेशेंट कैन डाई सो दे आर इम्पॉर्टेंट डिजीजेज एंड सिंस द नंबर इज स्मॉल नो वेर इन द वर्ल्ड द फार्मास्यूटिकल कंपनीज आर इंटरेस्टेड इन डेवलपिंग द ड्रग्स सो इन द यू एस सम ट्वेंटी थर्टी ईयर्स एगो दे स्टार्टेड दिस कॉल द ऑर्फन ड्रग एक्ट टू मेक द फार्मासीज इंटरेस्टेड इन डेवलपिंग दिस प्रोडक्ट दे गिव दम लॉट ऑफ बेनिफिट्स so as a result a lot of treatments have come so the major push for the rare diseases in india like elsewhere in the world is coming from the patients who are suffering from the disease this uh, major challenge that we are facing in rare diseases is the issue of the expense of the treatments in see in the west in the us the insurance companies pay for treatment of uh, medical treatment in the uk it is the government in india the government covers some treatment for common disorder but lot of 70% of the treatment is by uh, out of pocket ex- expenses of the patients and these expenses for rare diseases are so high that no person can afford them because they run into lakhs and crores it may be 20 lakhs per year so that is the government really has to come in step in and help the treatment because the treatments are life saving and the treatment are really are some are very effective and um, so the fight is going on that the government in india at the moment has not relented in providing the money for treatment of these diseases so the patients have taken recourse of going to the courts and the courts have taken a decision that you cannot let a poor man die from a disease if he has no money the government in his policy has provided has uh, in the constitution it is written that you have to provide health care so that's the the tussle that is going on now among the doctors there is a fair amount of awareness because these are the disorders you see in the tertiary care centers you don't see them in the primary care but you will see them in the tertiary care center and all the doctors are trained in the tertiary care centers in the cities so they are aware of them and uh, and very interestingly these rare diseases they teach you more than the ordinary disease because it's something goes wrong in the body then you are able to understand how the body works better than if everything goes well you just don't realize that you have a stomach you just keep on now if you have a pain in the stomach then you realize there is a stomach this is causing pain so that's why the rare diseases are very good in teaching students the you know about medicine and how it is to be practiced now we are very fortunate in india that we have many companies in the next gen who have adopted the next generation technology now this technology can screen large number of diseases the genes together and make it cheaper earlier to call, to test one rare disease i had to pay the patient had to pay 1 lakh rupees 
now in uh, just uh, 15,000 or 20,000, I can study 20,000 genes. So that's the price difference. And uh, so the, in the diagnostic field has expanded in India. There's a like, company like LifeCell, MedGenome, they, uh, and there's a lot of scope. And more and more people are coming into this molecular genetic field because the money is there. The people have the, see, when you, your child is suffering from a disease, you don't mind paying 10,000 rupees to, for a test. Earlier it used to be, the one lakh used to be more. But now the prices have come down and uh, there is a little boom in uh, the di diagnostic testing. So now the patient, now these days, comes to me with a report in hand. Look, this report has come and it gives me, I have a de defect in this gene. So then it asked them, okay, now you explain. Earlier the patient comes and we had to find out. Now the patient is coming with the report. So it has come to that you know, level that patient can afford. So the, you can divide them like the government of India has done into three parts. One is one-time treatment. You give one-time treatment, patient gets well, everything is over. So the government is in favor of giving this type of treatment. That one time you give 20 lakhs, 15 lakhs to the patient and he gets a bone marrow transplant, he gets a liver transplant and he is cured for life. Of course, the transplants have their own problem because you have to give them some medicine to tolerate the donor cells. So that is one type of treatment. The second is the treatments are not very expensive, but they are still lifelong. You have to give special diets. The medicine has to continue. And uh, so, but they are not very expensive that many people can afford. So most of the patients are, can afford, but the, the organizations of these patients still want the government should support because uh, then the, some of the very poor cannot afford that treatment. Then the third part are the drugs, which are called the enzyme replacement therapies. The enzyme the, is, which is missing is now being manufactured by recombinant technology. And you can give by injection every week or every two weeks. And the patient can get better. It depends on the disease. If the disease is in which the brain is not involved, there are very good treatments. Because all the other symptoms can be made to disappear by giving these EI enzyme replacement therapy. And people are developing more and more enzyme replacement therapy. Recently, there has been a surge in doing gene therapy, which will be a one-time treatment. Gene therapy is an ideal treatment, but it has issues which are being sorted out. And in the last five years, a large number of diseases, trials are going on. So I'm very hopeful that in a few years, we are going to have a host of diseases which will be cured by gene therapy. For example, there is a disease called SMA, spinal muscular atrophy. So people are saying, let us diagnose these diseases when the symptoms are not there. When they are born, let us do newborn screening. And before he even has symptoms, but he has the disease, it will take a few months. Now, if you give gene therapy at this stage, the patient will never get the disease. So that's the beauty of the new technology.